This video sponsored by Filmy. Filmy is a video editing apps. In this apps, easily you can make some awesome slideshow. Select a slideshow and see the preview. Then click on add your media. Now import your clip here. And click on preview. So my slideshow is ready, now just need to export it. Also here you'll get awesome filters and elements. And 100 plus different types of transitions. You'll get some text presets. And 50 different types of sound effects. You can record your screen with this Filmy app. Also, you can set the custom size for screen recording. So you can get this app from the description link. Now let's see how to do the snapshot freeze frame effect inside the Premiere Pro. So first import your clip to the timeline. Then find the frame where you want to freeze. In my case, I think it's a good frame. Then right click and select insert frame hold segment. So it'll freeze the current frame for a few seconds. But if you want, you can increase the freeze frame duration. Then duplicate the freeze clip, hold on the alt button and drag this clip one track above. Disable the top layer. Go to the effects tab and search for Gaussian blur. Apply this effect to the bottom freeze layer. Then go to the effect controls tab and set the blurriness 50. To remove the side edge, Enable Repeat Edge Pixels. Again go to the Effects tab, and search for Black and White. Apply this effect to the bottom freeze layer. Now open the Lumetri Color tab. Inside the Lumetri panel, add the Vignette effect a little bit. Now close the Lumetri panel. Then enable the top layer and select this layer. Now go to the Effect Controls tab, down the scale size, around 50 or 60%, and rotate it minus 7 degree. Then go to the Project window and create a new color map. Set the color to white. Now move the top layer one track above, and put the color map between this two layer, and adjust the layer duration with your freeze frame layer. Then select the top layer, click Ctrl plus C to copy this layer effects. Now right click on the color mat, and select paste attributes. Then click on OK. Then move over to the effect controls, and set the scale size 65. Disable uniform scale, and set the scale width 63. Now let's add the camera frame, and you can download this frame under the description link. Then add this frame to the timeline, and adjust the frame layer duration. Now select this freeze layer, and click Ctrl plus C. And paste the attributes to the camera frame layer. Now select these three layers, and nest them. Then select this nested clip, go to the Effect Controls tab, and make keyframes on the scale and rotation. Move these keyframes to the first frame, now set the scale size 110 and set the rotation 4 degrees and move these keyframes to the last frame. Make them ease in and ease out. So it'll make the animation more smooth. Let's see a quick preview. And it looks so cool. Now go to the effects tab and search here dip to white. Apply this effect between these two clips and decrease the effect duration just like that. So it will look like a flash effect. And that's it for this effect. Now let's see how to add the cropping effect. So first make a new adjustment layer, add the adjustment in the timeline, and adjust the adjustment layer duration. Now add the crop effect on the adjustment layer. Move the time indicator to the first frame. Then move over to the effect controls, under the crop effect, set the keyframe on top and bottom, 
and set the top and bottom value 50%. Then move the time indicator around 2 seconds. And set the top and bottom value 10%. And last, add the camera shutter click sound. You can download it from the description link. Now let's see the final preview. So that's it for today guys, if you enjoy this effect, please give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Also you can follow me on Instagram, and feel free to ask me anything. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.